Today we're going to be exploring measuring. We're going to be measuring height. We're going to be seeing how tall something is or how short it is. And Strawberry is going to help me and help you to learn these really, really important words. So the first thing we're going to look for is to see if we can find something on the table that is tall. So, Strawberry, tall. Can you have a look round? Mm, have a good look at the objects on the table. Can you find something that is tall? Do you want to show Strawberry the action for tall? Tall. Here we go. He's having a good look. Ah, oh, let's see. Let's see if you are right. Strawberry thinks these are tall. Wow, they're so tall you can only just see Mrs Brooks behind them. That's definitely a tall object, isn't it? So let's put that over there. Now, Strawberry, here's your challenge. Have you found something that's tall? You see, can you find something now that is short? So the opposite of tall, short, something that's short. So have a look around, Strawberry. What can you find that is short? Ooh. That's quite tall, isn't it? The Pringle tube, I'd say that was tall. Have a look. Ooh, oh, let's have a look over here. What have you found? Ah, it's found a fire extinguisher. Let's have a look. Is the fire extinguisher tall or short? It's short, isn't it? Well done. So we found an object that's tall and we found an object which is short. Well done. Fantastic, Strawberry. Can you find things in your house that are tall and that are short? Now, to be a bit more of a challenge, we're going to see if we can find something that is taller than strawberry. So we found a tall object, but can we find something that's taller than strawberry and something that's shorter than strawberry? So there's strawberry, let's see. Strawberry isn't very tall, is he? He's not like you and I, we're quite tall. He's quite short. Can we find something that's shorter than strawberry? Is that fire extinguisher shorter? Remember how we did this before when we were comparing our length? We made sure that, that both the, when we were measuring them, they were together and then we could see exactly how high or how long, as we were doing before, it comes up to. So the fire extinguisher comes up to here. So the fire extinguisher is shorter. Can we find anything else on the table that is shorter than strawberry? How about Paddington's marmalade? Is that shorter? So you put it right up against strawberry and we compare. Where does he sit? Ah, oh, strawberry is a little bit taller, so the marmalade is shorter. Well done, we found two things that are shorter. Right, can we find something that's taller? Now we found these tall vase of flowers. Are they taller than strawberry? So I put the two together that I'm measuring and I compare. There it is, yes. The flowers are much taller, aren't they? Can we find anything else that's taller? Oh, what about these Pringles? They're rather yummy, aren't they? Are the Pringles taller than strawberry? Let's see. Put them next to strawberry so they're both starting in the same place. And then we go and we put our hand across to see which one is taller. You can see that the Pringle tube is taller. So the Pringle tube is taller than strawberry. Right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five objects, haven't I? And I wonder now, now that I've found some which are shorter than strawberry, some which are taller than strawberry, I wonder if I might be able to find which one is the shortest. And we can then put these in order, can't we? Maybe at home you could do the challenge where you find something that is taller than you and find things which are shorter than you. You could draw them, you could even label them as a real super challenge and send them to me so I can see how excellently you're getting on. Okay, so strawberry, looking around, which one is the shortest? So these are the shorter ones. Which one is the shortest out of these two? The marmalade or the fire extinguisher? The fire extinguisher is the shortest, doesn't it? Right over here, this is the shortest. 
Now, which one is the tallest now? So here are the tall objects, the taller objects. Which one though is the tallest? If I put them together and compare them, we can see, look, the Vasa flowers are much taller than the Pringles. In fact, they are the tallest object we've got. So there we go. Now, where do the rest go? So, strawberry, where does the marmalade go? He's not the shortest, he's a little bit taller, isn't he? So he goes here. What about the Pringles? And go there, because he's not the tallest, but he's taller, isn't he? Where would strawberry go there in our ordering? I wonder, would he go here? No, he's not the shortest. Look, he's taller than the mama, than the fire extinguisher. Would he go here? No, he's taller than the marmalade. Does he go here? Yes, because he's shorter than the Pringles. So now we've managed to put them in the right order, going from the shortest one all the way through to the tallest one. See if you can find five objects in your house and try and put them in the order. Now I've got another one here, come sneaking in, here he is. Where does this teeny tiny little puffin go? Would he go towards the tall end? Would he go to the shorter end? Does he go in the middle? What do you think? What do you think, Strawberry? Well, let's put it next to it and we see. Oh, much shorter than the flowers. Much shorter than the Pringles. Much shorter than Strawberry. Much shorter than the Marmalade. It's even shorter than the fire extinguisher. So this one is now the shortest one. Oh, then he's gonna fall over. So he's the shortest. There we are. So well done. So you can add more in and again, making sure they're in the right height order. So well done, everybody. Have a go. See if you can practice using those words, tall and short, taller, shorter, tallest and shortest and have a go exploring how tall your things are okay thank you for helping strawberry and i we hope you enjoy your learning all about height we'll see you soon bye